Hi, my unemployment happy people. We're at home and receiving benefits. Guess what? You guys are gonna get an extension for 13 more weeks. All right. So it's gonna happen uh, maybe like in 10 days from now, May 27th. We're gonna, you guys are gonna get an extension for 13 more weeks of benefits. Right. So now those who have a lot of questions about clarifying benefits, I'm gonna help you guys out right now. Uh, but before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I mean, I got a lot of videos for you guys to get informed. Easy one, easy videos like saying a uh, thousand, how to get a thousand dollars for rent or for immigrants right now. Uh, it's it's great. Uh, you get how to order from Walmart with the EBT card and so on, so and so forth, right? Also got scooter videos so you guys could um, be interested in just um, getting no LA, right? So all right, with that being said, please subscribe. I'm trying to get more fans. And let's get started. Clarifying for benefits. Now, if you have a couple of weeks you have to clarify, just go ahead and get that done. Remember, if you didn't do it before, just, um, it was, it was actually automatic before, right? So they actually did the clarification for you. But now, if you have a couple of weeks, go ahead and get them done. If you don't, if you're nervous about either you should or you shouldn't, just do it right now, right? Why not? Um, you know, you have nothing to lose. You have to clarify it so you can get paid, right? So that's what we're going to do. Same thing as before. Since you already see the questions that they did it automatically or you filled out it before, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to answer no to all of them except for number three, right? Now, number three says, um, are you looking for work? And obviously, we're going to say, yes, we are looking for work. Um, because if we're not looking for work, obviously, we're not going to get paid, right? So that's number three. Uh, so go ahead and select next on the next one. And we're going to do this for all the same weeks, right? If you say, if, um... If you say yes, then, uh, if you say no, that you're not looking for work, then it's bad, so you have to say yes, right? We're looking for work, but we haven't received any work. So if you see any type of income because you haven't been working, uh, we can select no, obviously. We select no, we select next. And same thing for the next weeks, right? So we're going to select no, no, number three, yes, because we're looking for work. We select no, and no, right? So all of them are going to select no. Now, this one says uh, for the following questions, apply for both certification weeks if you want federal income tax withheld. We're gonna check. We're not gonna check, all right, because we don't want it. And the next one it says, "Have you changed mail? Have you changed the mailing address?" We, just, uh, we haven't, right? So we're gonna leave them blank. And that's gonna happen. Same thing. We're gonna uh, clarify. Select no. Go to the next page. On uh, the next page, it's gonna submit, and we're gonna review them. Same thing. Same thing as we've done before. And that's it, all right. We're gonna check this box, and then we're gonna check your zip code address. That's it. All right, we submit it, right? So now it says right here we could do something, we could do a little survey, but that's pretty much it. All right. So if you have you have a couple of lists, a couple of weeks, you have to certify. Go ahead and certify them. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. So you could now remember your past unemployment benefit application, the one you just completed. It says it asks you to within 21 days to actually submit a Cal Job resume, right? So you see your resume inside the CalJob.com portal, right? So if you haven't done that, I suggest you do that because you want to be on the safe side of actually receiving benefits. But um, it might you might not have to, right? But we want to be on the safe side, so we're going to do it no matter what. So we could get the money. And that's the most important. So if you're a returning user, if you had unemployment benefits before, or you actually registered with CalJobs, you might have a password and username. You can retrieve it by using this if you forgot it. Or if you're a new user, you want to create a new account, just go right down, select um, Individual. And we go right down again and we put agree. And we're going to start a new login information, right? Once we have a new login information, we're going to sign up just like regular people. Great. Once you sign in, we're going to have some messages if you're actually a new user, just like I was. And I just, well, actually, I'm a returning user, so I just, um, I just logged in and, and fixed it, right? So, in other words, to upload your resume, after you did your questionnaire, after you did your uh, general information, you simply just go to Resume Builder, do Active Resumes. I actually uploaded it already, or you could just create a new resume. Once you create a new resume, it asks you for your resume title, type it in, uh, if you want to upload it or if you want to type it in, and then you just click Next, right? So let's say right here, we're just going to put Resume, we're going to put Upload, and we'll next right and then it just it simply just takes you a couple of steps if you want to um if you want to read it right now if you want to be available online if you want to unemploy to look at it and just continue following the same steps uh usually your resume has to be in doc or pdf uh so if you're using word, word format um you'll be able to upload it just save your computer and then upload it right 
and it's simple steps. You just keep keep going next. Read every single um. Read read every single question properly, so you won't have to mess up, right? You choose your file and you continue with the steps. It's gonna ask you for um for the type of work you're looking for. It's gonna ask you for the type of, of what hours if you're actually employed, not employed. And again, when you first sign in, you're gonna ask you for the general information. Again, social security. Uh, just very basic questions. If you actually enrolled in the military, receive any benefits, and so on, right? So read each, each question carefully. We sign up. This is how you do it. And I hope great luck to all you guys. All right. Remember to subscribe. I got more any more videos coming up. And if you guys any have any requests, let me know. I'll make a quick video so you guys can actually know and do it on your own proper computer. All right. Thanks.